Welcome back to Saving Move with Shasta. So before we get started, um, I'll tell you that thrifty is the way that I like to be, even when it comes to holidays and all that stuff. Saving a buck can always save you later, like cars break down, houses need repaired, you gotta buy extra dog food because the dog decided to be a pig this month. There's lots of things you want to save money for, so hit like and subscribe, and we shall get started on this wonderful adventure on how we have saved about $300 this Christmas on just gifts. Okay, so two people turned me on to this wonderful idea about using this company to buy toys uh, and... What we're going to do with our kids' old toys this year is recycle them and use the extra toys out of this um, expedition to donate to needy families or foster children. Um, if you don't know any place to recycle toys, um, try shelters or calling around to find foster agencies who might take toys for some of the foster kids. Um, I know that the times get hard and this is some of the best times to donate stuff that you donate clothes uh, toys uh, pots and pans all that stuff you know all your extra stuff if you bought new stuff during COVID get rid of some of your old stuff to people who need it anyway um, so the two people who turned me on to this is Hooked on Pickin she's a fantastic lady I love watching her videos and Franchise Kicks him and his wife are absolutely fantabulous uh, watch some of their videos, they are hilarious and just great at explaining everything. I do not do this for profit, we do this for saving money um, for stuff that we need, like Christmas toys for children. So the company is called Bulk.com, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, Bulk.com, sorry it's all, it'll be right side up, I promise. <laughs> um, so some of the things we decided we were going to keep for ourselves. Uh, being um, the fact that they were family games and um, we bought uninspected returns so some of these are super awesome buys and I'm talking like five dollars or less per item when some of these items are like twenty thirty dollars so first off was this 400 piece poker set um, comes in a metal case this thing I'm gonna throw the box away so we're not gonna keep that box but uh, keeping the metal case super heavy it's got all the chips it's got your um, big blind small blind dealership and two deck of cards so perfect for except my husband loves poker I'm an avid poker lover and I don't know why that's not going the way it should have I don't know what's going on with that okay anyway it doesn't matter <laughs> I'll fix it eventually uh, Oh, that's why one of the chips came out of the thing. Anyway. They're all supposed to fit in there somehow. Okay, good. Got it. Um, we also have been a little short on family games in our household. We've only had a deck of cards and I think a thing of Uno where we got Uno. Whatever. Uh, so I bought two of these two foot, about approximately two foot boxes and they cost us see from the bottom of the couch up to here two foot boxes uh, they cost us approximately two hundred dollars a little bit over with taxes of course um, so perfect for Christmas and stocking up on family games on the manifest said that we were getting um, Sonic Monopoly sadly again uninspected returns we <laughs> ended up getting uh, we ended up getting a Cars Monopoly, so I mean, you can't, uninspected returns, you can't really argue with that. Um, I think it's missing a couple of pieces, not a whole heck of a lot, so we'll find out when we play for the first time. Again, people buy stuff, don't like it, or do like it, didn't like the last one that they bought, so they replace it with the brand new box and ship it back. Um, my husband's a big Marvel fan, I love, uh... One of the characters, just because the hue in his outfit is purple, and so we're keeping this game for our family. It's called Wakanda Forever. I love Black Panther. 
totally worth it. Um, don't know how much all of these cost. If you guys happen to know, um, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I do know that the Monopoly is anywhere from like at the least $15 and at the most like $35, I think. So if you know how much a car's Monopoly costs or Wakanda Forever, like these are great steals, you guys, for the cost on the manifest totally out to anywhere from $0.99 cents to a whole $5 per item. This is, oh, sorry, <laughs> a card game called Hella 90s. We're also going to keep this. It's a pulp, pop culture trivia game. We're also going to keep this for our family game nights. Um, we have a lot of kids to buy for. So I'm sending some of the gifts to my son who lives with this family in Georgia. Um, I have another son who lives with his grandparents, so we're going to be delivering gifts there. Like these WWEs, my son in Red Wolf absolutely loves these. Uh, he's been in love with WWE since he was a baby because him and Grandpa watched it all the time. Um, we have another one. Now some of these might not be who the WWE is right now. I don't know. I do not watch WWE. Um, so, again, you guys comment whatever you think. Uh, those little action figures, these are normally $4 a piece. I think on the manifest they went down to $1.99. So technically this is a really great steal um, for that price. We got this little plush key toy thing. Again, might have been $0.99 cents or less. On the manifest, it doesn't say on the tag what it is. It's a the odd ones out little plush keychain that's perfect for stocking stuffers we have boys that absolutely love baseball um, again uninspected returns didn't come with the bat perfect ball you guys this is the best way to save money I have only shown you some of the most expensive items in our thing some of the more expensive items and some of the you know really tiny stuff there's stuff ranging in here now these we don't know what we're gonna do probably give them to foster cares we cannot stand slime in our carpets we will not do it <laughs> I love my kids but no 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 not gonna happen um, we have people on our list who have girls little tattoos these were from Valentine's Day but you know what? You take out each individual box and shove those in a stocking. And these kids are not going to know. Let me tell you. I have bought Halloween candy for the last couple of years to, st <laughs> to stocking and stuff. And kids do not know a difference. It is just candy in their stocking. Just like it's just toys or just tattoos. Like they're not going to know. Okay, this one also an inspected return. But it looks like they opened it and put the sticker back on it. It's some kind of like stick bot or something. I don't know. One of my boys will be very happy with this this Christmas. Uh, pencil sharpener. Again, not everything on here is toy related. Put this in your craft section. Put it in a stocking for a kid who's going to school. Like, again, COVID-19. Nobody knows if their kids are actually going to go back to school soon. Um, again, two more figures. We got one different one. We had a Ronda Rousey and two of these brawn strawmans. Okay, so that's it out of that. I have sorry, those were all the majorly tiny toys that we had pulled out. We got some other things that are not going to be in these boxes. My kids already tore them apart. There was four Funko Pops and I don't even remember. Two of them were Vanilla Pea Bond Sweets from Drag it Ralph, and, uh, yeah, so, oh, and a Pokemon ball with the P 